Hello, 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 dear viewers. It is I, Mantillo. And I've been on a kick recently with Xenoverse 2. If you're a, f a fan and you have played the game, I think you will uh, uh, know that if we get a three, we need more races. And today I'm sharing the Android race that I think would be cool and try to make it so it's like balanced somewhat or it should be balanced. If, uh, if it was ever a thing, or if we ever get Xenoverse 3, or if they do get, or maybe if they do add more races into Xenoverse 2. But anyway, enough dilly dally. Let us. I just, I'm just gonna read my script. Okay. I'm not sure if anyone has done a full video on what if races before but i thought this was cool so i wanted to do this i'm a fan of the, of the game so okay first off obviously the android race which they're basically about absorbing energy so I wanted to base it around that somewhat. So first off, they're both they're half robot, half creature. So I'm pretty sure there wouldn't be male or female. Probably genderless, but you know, you'll be able to uh, pick stuff that may look male, look female, or other stuff uh, in the features part, different faces and such. But I think the special thing that makes them different from other races, first, when they grab, they will absorb a little bit of HP, key, and stamina. Kind of like those like super attack moves that's already in the game. Uh, that when you grab and absorb and grab and absorb. And when the android gets a lower HP, they will absorb more of all three. Also, I think they should get like a somewhat of a defense boost when their HP is completely full. Maybe about 10 or 15 percent the defense boost when it's completely full. Also, I think a unique power-up would fit as well that only the android race could use. And the power-up uh, will be called Overdrive. And Overdrive could be like a mini transformation. It will boost all attacks by about 20-25% um, defense by the same number the power up will last for maybe a minute 20, 45 seconds the animation will be really fast to cat a uh, cast but the downside is that the power up will uh, cannot be stacked uh, repeatedly to like keep it uh, going on forever there will be uh, like a internal timer that when overdrive uh after that timer is up overdrive won't be able to be used again for like a minute or two and if you stack other over uh, if you stack overdrive with other power ups those power ups will get uh, locked uh, after as well So, if you use Overdrive and other uh, power-ups after Overdrive, uh, 
uh, gets uh, uh, run out, and you ha you have to wait uh, for that timer for uh, both overdrive and the other power ups. So yeah, after those power those power ups will get locked uh, after as well, and you would have to wait the minutes or two or two as well. And also, when overdrive is locked, it gives debuff uh, to attacks. Uh, defense by 10 20% and each uh, power up after that was stacked on top of the overdrive will increase the lockdown on overdrive and the other power ups by 15 more uh, seconds and increases the deep deep debuffs by 15% per power up This is so that it cannot be, it will be uh, OP for the short while, but after uh, those uh, all done, you're basically wide open for your enemy. Overdrive can stack with actual transformations as well. I think this is a good balance so that it can't be abused, but will be useful. Useful for the short time, for the long while in battle, if it runs out, you're, you're done for. It shows that your overdrive will be really strong, but cannot be used forever. And when your buffs run out, it'll be easy for uh, the enemy. The android's unique transformation, I would think, could be called perfection. Increases all attacks by probably 15, 20 ish percent. And will turn off the android's ability to absorb anything from grab attacks and replace it. It will put a dome, a circle, you know, shaped dome that will encase the android. When the android is uh, in perfect transformation and is in max health or HP, the dome won't be there. After the lower the HP, the bigger the dome will be. So if you're really close to a max HP, the dome will be really small, but almost a dead, it'll be really big. What the dome does is, any uh, enemies uh, in that dome, the android will absorb uh, HP, key, and stamina. More enemies in the dome, more uh, gets uh, absorbed to the android, and just like when you're or, or when you're on low HP, more you absorb anyway. So when an android is almost max HP, they will, will be they would have to be hugging the enemy, and have to be, and the enemy have to, has to be in the dome for about five seconds to absorb anything. So every five seconds, you will get HP, key, and stamina, and when HP is low, the enemy uh, only has to be in the dome for about three to two seconds absorbing enemies uh, and to note absorbing enemies from either grabbing from the dome will only absorb the enemy's uh, HP and that HP will be converted into HP key and stamina for the android I'm trying to uh, make this a theme of very of the theme of absorption and as you can uh, see, my idea of a android. Okay. Yeah, absorbing enemies from either grabbing or from the dome will only be absorbing the enemy's HP. They will be converting to HP, key, and snail now. As you can see, my idea of an android is very much can be strong if it wants to or defensive if it wants to. Enabling... Uh, 
to absorb the en energy from an enemy, just like in the anime, and centering around absorption. Oh, also, <clears throat> I think, side note, I think Kaioken should be its own, like, power-up that any race can use, and it can stack up with the uh, with uh, their actual uh, transformation. But when Kaioken runs out, it will undo the Kaioken and whatever transformation you are in as well. If any Xeno first players are uh, see this video, what do you think of my ideas? Maybe anything to balance it more? Any thoughts of that could improve it, or more ideas to add on? Leave your com leave your thoughts in the comments, like, share, and all that YouTuber nonsense. And I'll see you in another video. Probably more Xenoverse stuff since I've been on a high with that game lately. But uh, this has been Mentio. Peace, y'all.